come back to Northwest Angling. We're back out again tonight. Uh, we've decided to come over to the other side of Liverpool uh, to fish the River Mersey, a uh, place I haven't fished before, which is called Quebec Key. So I've just arrived here now. Uh, it's around about four hours to high water. It's six o'clock high water. It's ten o'clock tonight. So uh, yeah, just uh, starting to rig up, get the first rig out, bait up, and what have you. So just keeping it really simple today. Station for form back rays. I'm going to be using a pulley dropper size four o tamer. And that's a little four o chinoo at the back as well. So keeping it really simple tonight. Hopefully, as I say, we can get some thornback rays out. Uh, I was potentially looking at fishing the other side over towards where we live on the uh, Whittle side, but our fish bud side yesterday for congas and it weren't too great. So yeah, new venue for me. Quite excited really to fish it. And um, yeah, as I say, hopefully we can get some thornback rays out. So let's get this rig baited out, get the first cast in, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, first bait about to go out, go out now, uh, single squid, uh, pulley dropper, 4 out tamer, 4 out chinoo, 7 ounce leads, let's get it out. And we're fishing 28 foot tide today so uh probably gonna be a bit of a pull tonight but we'll see i'm not gonna catch my own so let's see how that gets on little bite there now just little tiny pullovers ratchet starting to go slightly so we're just going to let that develop and hopefully it takes off hopefully a thorn back ray picks that up definitely looks like a ray bite anyway so let's see how that goes i just see the tip there just nodding away I was speaking to a fella who just came up a little bit earlier on. He did say there was quite a bit of weed this morning. He uh, had a successful session. And he had 10 thornback rays between three of them, a couple of small codlin and dogfish. So let's see what happens with this bite now. Yeah, let's have a look at that, see what's going on. Oh, I think I've missed it. Yeah, I've missed it. What have I? There we go. A bit of weed on the shock leader there. Okay, so I've had two casts now. Uh, first two casts went out on squid. And there was definitely signs there on that last one. I swear that was a ray bite. Um, and when I obviously first, you know, I held the rod and I could feel, could feel something pulling back. Um, but unfortunately, I just couldn't connect with the fish. So uh, 
promising sign anyway so uh, i'm just gonna try switch it up now different baits so that's bluey and squid so get that one out and see whether we can pick up a ray on that but they done first two cast them with just squid and uh, to be honest the first one came back pretty pretty chewed up so i'm guessing there's a bit more crab activity over this side uh, the second one came back okay to be fair so i'll probably be putting my baits out probably around about every 15 20 minutes or so just to keep fresh baits going out so a couple of other fellas behind me uh, just turned up on the uh, other side of the dock just on the point there so there's about three of them up there i say one guy did come up i did chat with me briefly he, he lives local just on the marina uh, he, he said he had three rays this morning uh, but they had 10 rays between three of them i think he said a couple of small codling and the usual dogfish as well so uh yeah hopefully we can have a productive session tonight but yeah blue in squid for the next one set up for this evening is the pen fathom casting special i know we've got that paired up with the Achios Creed. And if you haven't checked out these yet, the uh, tripod accessories from Spooligan suggest you uh, give them a go. Top quality. Keep your, keep your rod very secure in your rod rest. That ain't going nowhere. In fact, you've got a, as you can see, lovely bit of kit them. And then down the bottom you've got the the, the butt rest and anti-spin and that ain't going anywhere solid just picked up by something there so could potentially have the first fish of the night yeah, can see the ray on the surface out there. Looks like we're into our first storm back. Let's just come on across the water. A bit of weed on the shock leader then as well. Is it a thorny? It is indeed. I'll warm it up. Little male fish. Let's get that one hooked. There we go, first one. Little thorn back, little male. Yeah, it's good and bluey wrap. Straight on the surface as soon as I hooked it. Came in all the way on the surface, so little male, let's get it back. Potentially have our second ray on here. A bit of weight to it. Last one was just right on the surface. This one's staying a little bit deeper in this deeper water. Just come 
to the edge now. second fish in the net oh. Oh. perfectly in the lift that one Going back number two there, a female, same again, bluey and squid wrap, or the same size as the last one, perfectly in the lift that one as well. Let's get it back, two for two. The next one out, that's uh, bluey and squid again, this one out. Quick update, so it's nine o'clock now. Uh, we're just uh, about an hour before high tide and uh, just them two thornback rays. And it seems to be a uh, bluey and squid that seems to be uh, doing the damage for them. So uh, I believe it's usually around about now, two hours over the high tide that it, it really starts to come on the feed. So hopefully we can see a few more thornback rays, but it's a lovely evening, uh, the rain, it was pretty bad this morning, so it's uh, cleared up. It's a, it's a lovely evening out on the river now, so... Yeah, just a little bite on this one now. Looks like a bit of a dogfish bite, so... Um, yeah. Happy to get the target anyway, and uh, hopefully we can get a few more. Potentially got our third ray on here. Line I've been taking right down river. Yeah, it feels like we've got an array on here again. Staying deep this one again. There we go. It's up on there. There we go. Another right. Let's get that net down.
رقمي المصري ان الناس There we go. Ray number three. Perfectly hooked on the side of the mouth on the chinoo. Again. Uh Louis and Squid. Another little small one. Not big race tonight, but uh keeping me busy, so let's get this one unhooked. Get it back, get another bait out. Slack liner then. Another fish on, I think. Say again. Yeah, I think so. Another ray, I think. Big slack liner. Feels like a better fish, like. Angry male. <laughs> See that mess over. I'm not bringing over four in the nest. <sighs> oh, it's about the same size, but it's just, it's just an angry male. Okay, there we are. Throwing back number four now. And the male fish. Give me a good little scrap he did. Felt a lot bigger than what he was. But again, bluey and squid. That's four rays. Right, so high tide's been and gone now. It's uh, well, half ten, half an hour after high water. So uh, the fish is still feeding, still getting bites. Uh, so probably going to give it about another half an hour now. I've got another two baits, one out now, and I've got another one ready. So and then that'll do me that now. But uh yeah, busy little session on the thornies, four so far. I say all pretty much around about the same size, three, four pound. A little feisty male, the last one I had, gave a good little account to himself. So, uh, yeah, give another half an hour and uh, see how we get on there. But lovely night on the river, and a couple of fish as well, so can't be bad. Right, last cast now. Tide's pulling hard, it's about... 40 minutes after high, so let's get this last cast. Let's see how that one gets on. Well, if that's the tide or it's a fish on there. It's just gone slack, so let's have a look. It's last cast this anyway, so we're packing away after this. I think it's 
potentially maybe ring number five on this. Yeah, there's a bit of weight there. Oh, there's another male fish. Yeah, there it is. It's on the surface now. Right, go at the edge here. And a little small one. Let's get the net again. Oh, I'll blow this one off actually. There we go. Oh. Five that. Another male fish. So that's three males tonight, two females, number five. So a busy little session on the thornies, all been around about the same time, a couple of pounds, three, four pounds maybe. But yeah, uh, bluey and squid. Cracking little fight these males, especially when they get to the edge, they just they just go for it. So that's me done now. Not a bad way to end the session and the video. So thanks for watching.